Well, hello, it's, uh, it's the evening of the 4th of March 2006 and I've been popping some balloons and taking photos. So here's what's going on. Here's the camera on a tripod and there's a flashlight up here which is a automotive strobe I bought for 20 bucks down at Super Cheap Auto and I've modified it so that it only triggers when I want it to and there's a second one down here so each one's had a uh, I've modified the reflector so that it actually does reflect instead of being a diffuser and I also put a Fresnel lens in front of each one and they're pointing at the balloon which I don't think you can see it but it is held on by a clip there's a clip there and another clip over there and there's a bit of black wool supporting that clip so that the balloon hangs in exactly the same place every time and it's leaning up against black background sheet okay now what happens down here is that both of these flashes are running off a 12 volt battery there which is also powering this circuit on the breadboard there and how that works is that when I press this button the shutter on the camera opens and it closes when this microphone right here is the burst and that also triggers the flash so basically we turn out the lights in the room press that button to open the shutter and then within a couple of seconds pop the balloon that triggers the flash and closes the shutter and that is the photo and now you can see around here various debris from the balloons I've already popped tonight uh, got some good photos already. I tried this a couple of weeks ago and the focusing was not successful. So the reason the focusing is good tonight is that the balloon is leaning on this black sheet. So it's always in exactly the same place. So you get the focusing right and then all your photos are going to be in focus. Okay, what's happening right here? I've just done two, like I've done a, a number of single balloons. I've just done two where there are three balloons blown up one inside the other. This is a third one. So I'm going to pop it and we're going to get a photo of three balloons bursting at the same time. Here's the camera. Just wake the camera up. So it's in f1.8 to get the best exposure because the flashes aren't all that bright. Okay, that's a good spot. And of course it's in bold mode so that the shutter is controlled purely by my little budget circuit. Right, we are ready. The focusing of course is manual. It's done once. And since it's right, it stays like that. Right, here we go. Shutter open. <coughs> right. Now I can see from that that you get a pretty good view just from the flash just watching I could see that only the two outer balloons had popped okay review mode shows that the knife is actually touching the inner balloon which hasn't popped yet so that's actually pretty cool but what I really want is all three balloons popping and I've got one more chance because I have prepared one more set of three balloons so you just have to unclip the debris of that one. Clip on the new one. And repeat. Okay. This is going to be the last one of the night. I can't be bothered blowing up any more balloons. Here it goes nothing. <coughs> right, that was better. You can see the inner one popped. The neighbours probably hate me because it's quarter past eleven night and there have been explosions for the last hour or so but it's all good three balloons, one inside the other, all popping all in focus I am happy now this one's not focused all that well it's still quite good 
So there you go. I hope it's an informative movie. Good night.